Henrik to Daniel. And Daniel circles right in the middle. And Henrik goes right to the middle. And you can see Henrik waving at it. Roberto doesn't see it. Two heads are better than one. One away, strikeout number seven for Kurt Schilling. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 duos in sports. It will be interesting to see how far that ball is guesstimated. Unbelievable shot by McGuire. For this list, we're counting down the greatest sports partnerships between two teammates. That means you won't be seeing any player-coach duos or rivalries on this list. Great to see the sisters back together on center court at Wimbledon. But when you hit the ball as hard and you play as well as that, there's no stopping Serena Williams. Number 10, Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taves, the Chicago Blackhawks. Put his hip front, now he's got it again! And Patrick Kane scores! Kane able to tuck it home from a tough angle! When these two entered the leagues as young phenoms, they had an immediate impact and have since made the Blackhawks a certified dynasty. Winning the first of their Stanley Cups together in 2010, then following that up with subsequent wins in 2013 and 2015, it's hard to believe that both of these superstars are under 30. Two on one, hustling back his point up a shot, score! A prolific scorer, Kane took home his first Art Ross trophy for the 2015-16 season, an award given to the player with the most points at the end of the season. Taves, nicknamed Captain Sirius, is a well-rounded center with a hockey IQ matched only by the greatest players in the game. Although they only sometimes play on the same line, they're nearly impossible to contain when they do. We're not yelling at each other as much. I think the key point was when we stopped rooming with, rooming with each other, we might start liking each other a little bit more. But well, We're not on the same line as much either, yeah. so that kind of lowers the stress, I think. Number nine, Lou Gehrig and Babe Ruth, the New York Yankees. Ruth put his arms around Gehrig and hugged him fiercely. And you could see that they really admired him and really liked each other. Having the two greatest players of a generation playing side by side is a recipe for success in any sport. Gehrig joined the Yankees in 1923, but made only a handful of appearances and was left off the roster when they won the World Series that year. It was only in 1926 that he broke out and became a team regular alongside the already legendary Bambino, who'd made his name with the Red Sox before becoming a Yankee. Pitchers were afraid of him. They'd lie at night knowing that the next day they're facing Ruth and they would toss in their sleep. The two would go on to win three World Series titles during their time together in New York and have a combined total of 13 World Series titles between them. Today, today I, consider I consider myself, myself the, luckiest the luckiest man, man on the face, on of, the the face earth. of the earth. Number eight, Peyton Manning and Marvin Harrison, the Indianapolis Colts. Did Peyton Manning make Marvin Harrison, or did Marvin Harrison help make Peyton Manning? In only 158 games together, these two former Indianapolis Colts teammates set the all-time NFL record for touchdowns, yards, and completions by a quarterback-wide receiver duo. Looks for the quick throw, lobs it in the corner to Marvin. He's got it, but is he out of bounds? Let's see, touchdown! Together, they brought the Colts their first Vince Lombardi trophy after the team first moved from Baltimore, following their win over the Chicago Bears in Super Bowl 41. Manning and Harrison produced 12,766 yards and 112 touchdowns with 953 total passes together, becoming one of the most dynamic passing offenses in NFL history. Peyton Manning and Marvin Harrison are the same person. I mean, I played with both of them in the Pro Bowl, and they could finish each other's sentences. With 22 combined Pro Bowl appearances, it's only a matter of time before Manning is immortalized with Harrison in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. It's first day in the huddle. I was like, wow, this, this, this is the type of quarterback that I need to help me get to where I want to be. Number seven, Xavi and Andreas Iniesta, FC Barcelona and the Spanish national team. When you have Xavi and Iniesta covering the midfield and making the team tick, well, it's all for the better and everyone benefits. Known by some as Xaviesta, the members of this midfield tandem are best friends off the pitch and have been dominant for club and country in the modern era of European football on it. Together, they've won seven La Liga titles and four Champions League titles with Barca, as well as two European championships and a World Cup with the Spanish national team. 
That's a lot of silverware. They capped off their incredible career together by winning the league title, the Copa del Rey, and the Champions League title in 2015, completing the treble for a second time. <laughs> Number 6. Mario Lemieux and Yarmir Jagr, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Now Jagr across to Lemieux and he scores! Just like that! They're one of the most potent scoring duos in NHL history, and the pair with the best mullets in sports history. Lemieux stands at 8th all-time in scoring, while Jagr snagged the number 3 spot on that list during the 2015-16 season. Here's Jokic and trying to take that puck three. Jagr in tight, scores! Yarmir Jagr, goal number An injury limited Lemieux to only 26 regular season games in the 1990-91 season, but rookie Yager stepped up and tallied 57 points. When Lemieux returned to the lineup, there was no stopping the Penguins on their way to their first Stanley Cup in franchise history, followed immediately by another one in 1991-92. Lemieux went on to co-own the Penguins, while Yager continued to add to his points total even 26 years after he was first drafted in 1990. Kulikov in front, it's Yager! Score! Yager! Number 5. Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant, the LA Lakers. There was so much conversation during the Shaq years. Were you guys friends? No. Although their personal relationship was shaky and their big personalities often clashed, Kobe and Shaq led the Lakers to three consecutive NBA titles and continued the tradition of the dominant Showtime Lakers of the 80s. Once again, getting position on David Robinson. Now that's a set play. Kobe's Lakers won two more NBA championships after Shaq's departure in 2004. Fans often debate what would have happened if Shaq had stuck around in LA, if they'd found a way to coexist on and off the court. These two superstars could have continued their dominant style of play to elevate the Lakers franchise to even greater heights. Could you guys have coexisted? Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, we have. <laughs> Number four, Joe Montana and Jerry Rice, the San Francisco 49ers. Thrown perfectly to right. Touchdown, 49ers. Statistically, these two form one of the greatest receiver-quarterback duos in NFL history. Each is arguably the best to ever play at their respective position, and having them both on one team led the 49er squad of the mid to late 80s and early 90s to six division titles and back-to-back -back Super Bowl victories in 88 and 89. With Montana throwing to him, Jerry Rice was able to reach the 1,000-yard receiving mark for seven straight seasons and accumulated 67 passing touchdowns during their time together. That time was cut short, however, when Montana was traded to the Kansas City Chiefs in 1993. And we can only imagine what their numbers would look like today had they stayed together for a few more seasons. He, he's so deceptive, and I, I don't know how he did it year after year after year but he could, he could get behind almost anybody. Number three, Magic Johnson and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the LA Lakers. Deflection by LA, Magic to the king, and he's got two of the stuff. These two Hall of Famers helped make the historic Showtime Lakers a fearsome, run-and-gun, up-tempo offensive team. Magic and Kareem's Lakers won 60 regular season games in the 1979-80 season, their first year playing together. It was a wonderful combination because Abdul-Jabbar probably needed the burden relieved from him out there every night having to do it by himself. Their dominance over the rest of the NBA, except maybe for their bitter rivals, Larry Bird's Boston Celtics, made them the dynasty of the 80s. Magic's clean and precise passing and Kareem's unstoppable scoring abilities made this duo unmatched in their offensive prowess. The two combined for nine NBA MVP awards, 20 All-Star Game selections, and five NBA championships while playing together. And boy, were they fun to watch, too. Magic long pass to Kareem under the basket, slammed up. Number two, Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, the Chicago Bulls. 
Jordan in the lane, scoops it up and in. Well, if it's not him, it's Pippen, a very tough duo to deal with. As one of the most prolific and overpowering basketball partnerships of the 90s, and arguably of all time, Jordan and Pippen led the Bulls to six NBA championship titles and the then NBA record of 72 wins and only 10 losses in the 1995-96 season. More of a defensive mastermind, Pippen was often overshadowed by the large competitive presence of Michael Jordan. However, Pippen is still considered one of the all-time greats. You're talking about a guy who's been on the all-defensive team for a number of years and is very proud of the fact that he can shut a guy down. Together, they were the core of the record-shattering 1995-96 Bulls team, which remains a strong candidate for the greatest team in NBA history. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Petit, nicely down for Arsenal, and on the burst is Patrick Vieira! Second time with a header, but it drops for York. Besson can't hold it, and Nicole follows in. Dalglish is making a run for him. One player's gone tumbling, and it's played across for Rush. That's Stick the long ball. Number one, Wayne Gretzky and Yari Curry, the Edmonton Oilers and the LA Kings. Now Gretzky and Curry against Curry for Curry scores! The great one has had his fair share of top-class teammates, including Hall of Famers Mark Messier and Brett Hull, but it was his partnership with the defensive-minded Yari Curry that stands as one of the most dominant pairings of all time. Looks like he's heading back the backhand pass. A shot just inside the left post beats Tony Esposito. Despite his focus on defensive play, Curry finished his career as one of the highest scoring European players in history with an astounding 1,398 points. This has it knocked ahead by Gretzky to Curry. They've got a two on one with Pozar the opposite side. Curry in front and it turned off low and in. The two made a name for themselves in Edmonton by winning five Stanley Cups together and would play together again as members of the Los Angeles Kings in the 90s, though not usually as line mates. Gretzky up the center, knocked it down, but Newman and recovers. Now taken away. Here's Curry, cutting in. Curry in front. He shoots. He scores! We all know that Gretzky is regarded as the best hockey player in NHL history, and Curry will be remembered for helping to make the great one even greater. We, we don't socialize a whole lot. You would think the way we play, we're together all the time. Um, so it makes it more, more unique, I guess, that when we do get on the ice, we're so together. Do you agree with our list? Who are your favorite sports duos? For more exciting top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.